Why is the university privatizing? Why is Keen spending extra money for inferior work? Why is Keen willing to risk the safety of students, faculty, and staff? Got a secure facility, they got background checks, and you're going to get a private contractor, and you don't know who you're getting on campus, and no background checks, and safety of the students are out the window. Go privatize! I'm here to protest the privatization of this university, the subcontracting of full-time dedicated work to those who have no commitment to the institution, no commitment to our students. We're here to protect Kane and save Kane. Janitors, librarians, professors, secretaries, all of us together. We have discovered that the Meridian employees make more than the Kane employees on an hourly basis. We're asking the Board of Trustees to look into the practice of using subcontractors and the millions of dollars Kane is spending on this. We're here to bring attention to the situation of this college wasting money. We, they have employees that can do a job. Instead of having them do it, they contract it out. We're trying to find out why. Yet the university approved 4% tuition and fee increases for full-time students and 10% increases for part-time students. Why? It appears the extra money is needed to pay for wasteful and inefficient outsourcing of university maintenance and related functions. We have seen that these contracts cost the university hundreds of thousands of dollars more and produce shoddier results than if the work was done in-house. So not only is this outsourcing a poor financial decision, it is a threat to quality, safety, and campus security. Our co-workers in AFPD 195 constitute a stable workforce that is committed to efficient university operations. KFT members are reassured when they know that the people who keep the lights on and the rooms clean and safe are long-term Kane employees who know the campus, its operations, and most importantly, its people. So why are you outsourcing these jobs? For what reason? You're not saving any money. Contractors are making triple of what our guys are making. This is crazy. It's ludicrous. Come on. The state is hurting with funds. You're throwing money away. How about safety? How about a cover that was removed from an electrical panel than the work being done in the Nancy Thompson Library? It was our crew that left the circuit breakers and live wires exposed with no one around to guard or explain, but it was one of our workers who noticed it and who appreciated the danger. Let's understand this. Keene already has a workforce at its fingertips, a workforce that has years of experience right here on this campus, you know, and who have been called upon every day. A workforce that has delivered quality workmanship day in and day out at a fraction of the cost of privatizing. A workforce that has consistently and conscientiously completed assignments ahead of schedule. A workforce that is worth both the culture and mission of Kane.